What's going on, Alpha and Omega fam? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Man, how y'all doing tonight? I gotta tell you, today was Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Anyways, the tacos in the dining facility it was amazing. Um, so we continue forward, right? Forward and onward. I'm healthy. I'm happy. I woke up this morning. Great day. So. This next one is going to be NFO Lord. We're going to jump into that, and I might do a three-peat today. I might drop three for y'all today. It's been a couple days since I had the ability to upload, but hey, your boy's got a real life too, right? So let's get this started. Let's see what Nate's got for us on this one. Turn this up. Turn my mic up. Headphones, actually, but whatever. When I die, put my ashes in the trash bag. I don't care where they go. Don't waste your money on my gravestone. I'm more concerned about my soul. Everybody's gonna die. Don't everybody live, though. He said, put my ashes in a trash bag. He doesn't care where they go. Because he's more worried about his soul, bro. That is... Look, man, that is deep. And that's, you know, that's uh, factual as well. Like, I I mean, I kind of care where I'm buried at, as, as I'm sure most of y'all do. But at the same time, does it really matter? You know, does it really matter? You know, you're not going to know. So me, I'm worried about my soul before I do go. You know, I'm going to get myself right with my God before I do anything, before I even come close to leaving this world. All right, Nate, that was deep, man. I like that. That was, man, put my ashes in a tray. Okay. Okay. Let's go, Nate. I waste your money on my gravestone. I'm more concerned about my soul. Everybody's going to die. Don't everybody live, though. Ooh. Sometimes I look at Ooh, big facts. Big facts from Nate already. And this song ain't. 29 seconds in, this man done said two things that could be life-changing for some people. You know, it's, I I don't know, he just, he said everybody's going to die, which is the truth. You know, some people can't come to, to terms with that, you know, to the realization that no matter what you do, no matter how hard you fight, you're going to die. Everybody does. It's sad and it's messed up, but that, that should give you the proper motivation to live your life to your fullest. Be the best you, right? The wisdom. Um, I'm more concerned about my soul. Everybody's gonna die. Don't everybody live, dog? Mm, facts. Sometimes I look up to the sky. I wonder, do you see us down here? Oh, Lord. Mm. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Do you see us down here? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. What do y'all think? You know, I think... Uh, I think if you believe in heaven and hell and you believe that the you know your soul goes up there to heaven, I honestly would think that they have the ability to watch their loved ones or whatever to see how their life goes and be prepared for when they come to meet them up there. You know, I, I do. I think that. You know, if you guys believe that, go in the comments, put hashtag believe. Oh love, do you see us down here? Oh love. Oh, everybody wants change. <laughs> Not to mess up a good song, but was I the only one that noticed they misspelled listen? <laughs> they spelled it L I T S E N. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's Listen. Yeah, everybody wants change. Don't nobody want to change though True Don't nobody want to pray Tell they got something to pray for Big facts Now everybody's gone down But don't everybody live though Sometimes I look up to the sky And wonder do you see us down here Oh Lord Easy to blame. 
blame God, but harder to fix things. We look in the skylight, why ain't you listening? Watching the news in our living rooms on the big screens and talking about if God's really real, then where is he? Have you gone out to find him? That's what Nate's saying. How can you blame him? How can you question him if you haven't gone to find him? Watching the news in our living rooms on the big screens and talking about if God's really real, then where is he? You see the same God that we're saying might not even exist becomes real to us, but only when we're dying in bed. When you're healthy, oh. it's like we don't really care for him then. Leave me alone, God. I'll call you when I need you again. Oh, a lot of people do that, man. I, I, I see people do that all the time. Like, they don't want nothing to do with him until they need something. You know, they're like that, that dang needy family member. That, that, like, first or second cousin you don't ever see, don't ever call you, don't ever hit you up on socials, no Facebook, no Snapchat, until they need something from you. And then they come asking, they come begging, oh, God, please help me. I'm not lying. Big facts. Yeah, healthy, it's like we don't really care for him then. Leave me alone, God, I'll call you when I need you again. Which is funny, everyone will sleep in a pew. Is them blame God for our problems like he's sleeping on you. We turn up oh. oh, that was a bar. That was, oh, that was a good bar. He said everybody's sleeping in the pews until you wake up and say God's sleeping on you. That was a, that was a good bar. That was fire. That was, all right, Nate. Okay, Nate, you got me. Care for him then. Leave me alone, God. I'll call you when I need you again. Which is funny. Everyone will sleep in the pews. Don't blame God for our problems like he's sleeping on you. We turn mm. our backs on him. What do you expect him to do? It's hard to answer prayers when nobody's praying to you. Woo! Around at this world we walk on. It's a smack in the face. Don't ever tell me there's no God. And if there isn't, then what are we here for? And what are y'all doing down there? I don't know, Lord. Do you <laughs> man Nate is snapping on this one but not like lyrically snapping he's he's intellectually snapping on you right now oh my goodness this is so good this, this is good on, it's a smack in the face don't ever tell me there's no God and if there isn't then what are we here for and what are y'all doing down there I don't know Lord oh, yeah. Yo, and I like the, even though this is a lyric video, which I'm, I'm pretty sure is unofficial, it didn't say it was official, but it's a fan made, but I'm digging the whole, the whole flip flop, you know, the, the upside down meeting each other, like heaven and hell, you know, right and wrong, it's the whole two sides of one coin, th I like that, that's, it's a pretty cool little fan made video. Yo, that was good, man. That that was intellectual wisdom right there, and and spiritual wisdom as well. Uh, you know, if you're a spiritual person, it uh, you know, it kind of it kind of brings up a lot of questions to you. You know, about what you're doing. Are you doing the right thing? You know, are you doing right by God? Um, you know, just it, it brings up a lot of moral dilemmas. You know, and it's, I think that's, you know, the whole point of that song and the reason why Nate made it was to get people thinking, you know, to help them realize that they're, they're lacking on their faith. You know, Nate's a smart guy. He knows what he's doing, man. And I, I respect the hell out of him because he's, he is a very talented artist. Might be doom and gloom sometimes, but we all can be. Every artist has a sad song, right? Y'all take care of each other out there. Keep spreading that peace, love, and positivity. And if you haven't subbed to my channel, what are you waiting for?
I'm Joey, and I'm out. Peace.